Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and I, for those of you who don't know me. And today's look was very much inspired by the weather today in Texas. Yeah, it was a very sunny, beautiful day, very vibrant. So I figured why not channel today's weather through my channel. And so here we are with this half cut crease inspired by the sun today. And yeah, if you'd like to figure out how to accomplish this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I went ahead and did this eye off camera and my eyebrows as well. Um, all I did was prime my eyelids with some Pro Glow Infallible Concealer by L'Oreal in the shade 02 Creamy Natural. And then I set my eyes with the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. So now to start on the eye look, I'm going to take this Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush. And I'm going to apply in this shade as my translucent. My translucent, my transition. And I'm just going to apply it right here in this area. Okay, moving on to the next shade, I'm going to take this very orange shade that's in this top right hand corner and I'm just going to tap off the excess. By the way, this is my 35OM palette by Morphe. Oh god. And I highly recommend this palette. I love it. I use it all the time. So I'm just going to apply this where I applied that other transition shade and just blend it out. And all of my colors, I'm going to be blending outward, kind of in a wing. Okay, now that we're done with that shade, we're going to take this pinker shade. This pinkish kind of orangey red. And I'm just going to take that on the same brush. And apply it a little bit more into the crease. Okay, moving on to the next shade, we're going to take this very red shade, sorry, this one. And I'm going to take my Tarte brush from the Unicorn Collection and I'm just going to dab into that. Tap off any excess and I'm going to apply this directly into the crease and focus it on the outer eyelid as well, outer corner. Now I'm going to take the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to take the Morocco shade right here, this orangey shade on my number 7 BH Cosmetic brush. It's kind of like a rounded eyeshadow brush, smudge brush I guess you could say. And I'm just going to apply that in the outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to take some concealer, and that concealer will be my Infallible Pro Glow Concealer in the shade 02 Creamy Natural. I'm just going to take that onto the back of my hand, and I'm going to use my Naked 2 brush, the concealer side of it, and I'm going to carve out my cut crease. And what I like to do, since I do have hooded eyes, is I like to place a little bit right there and while it's wet I'll open my eye and I'll follow this line Okay, and while that's wet, I'm going to go ahead and grab my, Nubia, my Nubian palette again, and I'm going to take this shade right here, Nefertiti, I believe, and I'm going to take my packing brush, this flat kind of packing brush. It's the number 8 by BH Cosmetics, 
And I'm gonna just get my brush in there. And I'm just gonna pat it onto the concealer. Okay, and now that that is placed where it needs to be, I'm going to go ahead and take that Morocco shade again on the same smudge brush, smudger brush, eyeshadow brush, I don't know what I would call it, and I'm tapping off the excess, and I'm just going to cover up those harsh lines that the concealer left. Okay, and now for my favorite part. We're going to do our foundation, and the foundation I'm going to be using today is my Infallible Pro Glow Foundation by L'Oreal. And I am in the shade 204 Natural Buff. And I'm just going to apply that here, here, and here. Okay, and I'm going to blend it in with my morphe flawless beauty sponge okay and now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and take my infallible pro glow concealer the same one that i used to cut my crease and I am in the shade 02 Creamy Natural. I'm just going to apply that in the places that I want to highlight. Okay, and now to set this oily shiny looking face i'm gonna take that airspun powder that i used earlier and i'm going to tap some into the cap and take that same sponge and bake under my eyes and all of the areas that i highlighted Okay, and now that my face is set, I'm going to go ahead and take my contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and my Morphe M530 brush, and I'm going to take this cooler toned shade and contour with it. Okay, and now I'm going to take my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula on this big fluffy brush, and this is the bronzer. And I'm just going to apply it on the perimeters of my face. And now I'm going to take this brush from I'm not even sure where I got it but it's a small little blending brush I'm gonna put that into my bronzer oh wow this is a stiff brush like look and tap off any excess and I'm gonna take it down my nose Okay, and now that we are done with the bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Milani Romantic Rose Blush. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to grab it on this BH Cosmetics number no. 1 brush. I'm just going to tap into it and apply it to the apples of my cheek. Okay, and now that I'm done with my blush, I'm gonna go ahead 
and take my Wet n Wild Illuminator, Highlighter, Illuminator, I don't know. And it is in the shade Precious Petals. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to take it on my e.l.f. small tapered brush and I'm just going to tap into the product like these. Tap off the excess. And I'm just going to apply it to my cheekbones. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyes off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so I put on my eyelashes and I put on my bottom mascara and then I realized you didn't put on any under eye eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this Morocco color on my, what is this called? My Smoky Liner It Cosmetics brush. I'm just going to tap in there and apply that down here. And the lipstick I'm going to be applying is the Kylie Cosmetics Dulce K. Okay, and now I'm all done. Just give me one more second to do this hair, and I will be right back. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot was setting spray, so I'm gonna take this infallible Pro Spray Setting, Pro Spray and Set by L'Oreal, and I'm just gonna Okay, now I'm gonna go do my hair. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I am really happy with the way it turned out. I usually don't do cut creases. And yeah, I never do my eyeliner this dramatic and I'm kind of loving it. But yeah, anyways, if you liked this video, if you liked this look, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I mean, it only takes you like one second to press the button, so why not? And join the party here at Kristen and Aya's channel. I don't know why I'm doing that. But yeah, anyways, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.